Hello everyone, my name is Aastha. I welcome you all to our classes for the International English Olympiad for Class 6. Today is our 11th class in the series. We will be doing yet another new topic which is voices. Voices, active voice and passive voice. These two broad types of voices which we will be discussing. Very, they are very important so that uh, you don't make any mistakes in these sort of questions as well as use them carefully in your, in your regular conversations as well. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so here, so what is voice of a verb? Now the first question is what is voice of a verb? The voice kya the voice se kya hota hai? Voice expresses whether the subject in the sentence has performed or received the action. Now this might uh, sound a little confusing to you. Let me repeat and let me explain it to you. Voice kya karti hai? Voice ka ek kaam hai bas. Voice hume ye batati hai whether the subject jo hai sentence mein, sentence mein jo bhi subject hai, wo in dono mein se koon si cheez kar raha hai? या तो वो एक्शन परफॉर्म कर रहा है या वो एक्शन रिसीव कर रहा है तो वॉइस हमें किसके बारे में बताते हैं सब्जेक्ट के बारे में इधर द सब्जेक्ट इज परफॉर्मिंग द एक्शन और द सब्जेक्ट हैज रिसीव्ड द एक्शन एंड द वॉइस टेल्स अस एग्जैक्टली दैट ऑल राइट सो लेट्स सी द एग्जांपल्स या नाउ हियर वॉचमैन ओपन्स डोर वॉचमैन ओपन्स डोर सो सब्जेक्ट क्या है यहां पे सब्जेक्ट इज वॉचमैन Okay, so यहाँ पे watchman क्या कर रहा है? Watchman is opening the door, which means the watchman is performing the action. What is he doing? He is performing. Here, don't mind my handwriting. I'm writing on the, I'm writing with the laptop pen. Sorry. Yeah. So watchman opens door, which means he is performing the action. क्या action? Door को open कर रहा है कौन? Watchman. Next sentence you see, the door is opened by the watchman. Now here, यहाँ पे जो subject था हमारा watchman, यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है? Watchman जो है वो action receive कर रहा है, which means the door is being opened by the watchman. So यहाँ पे जो हमारा watchman है ना वो बन गया receiver. पहले था performing, now he has, he is receiving okay so voice hai voice mein hum alag alag padhenge ab active and passive but aapko pehle ye samajh lena hai ki voice hume kya purpose yahan pe kya hai yehi batana ki jo subject hai sentence mein wo action ko perform kar raha hai ya receive kar raha hai this is going to be the basic idea all right let's move on Okay, so as I told you, we are going to be studying two broad forms. One is going to be the active voice, another is going to be the passive voice. In this case, one will tell that the subject is performing the action, the other one will tell us that the subject is receiving the action. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here we have the active voice. Now, active voice me kya hai? When an action expressed by the verb is performed by the subject, it is an active voice. क्या बोला था मैंने आपको कि इसमें से हमें एक voice बताएगी कि action जो है वो perform हो रहा है किससे subject से. The subject जब action perform कर रहा है becomes the active voice. मतलब जब subject हमारा active है, मतलब active कैसे है कि वो खुद ही action perform कर रहा है, तो वो हो गई active voice. So active voice is used when more straightforward relation and clarity is required between the subject and verb. मतलब active voice हम use करते हैं जब हमें straightforward sentence relations बताने हैं एक subject और verb में clarity चाहिए. All right. Now you will see these are pretty straightforward straightforward sentences. Passive voice कुछ लोगों काफी confusing भी लगती है. But let me tell you, there's nothing to be confused about. Active and passive voice are pretty simple, pretty easy if you understand the basic concept. Basic concept kya hai humara? Ki ek subject hai, 
सब्जेक्ट या तो एक्शन परफॉर्म करेगा या रिसीव करेगा अगर सब्जेक्ट एक्शन परफॉर्म कर रहा है तो एक्टिव वॉइस हो गई और पैसिव वॉइस क्या होगी वो हम अभी आगे देखेंगे फॉर द टाइम बी एक्टिव वॉइस के एग्जाम्पल यू सी हेन लेज एक्स बर्ड बर्ड बिल्डनेस ये मैंने बहुत ही सिंपल एग्जाम्पल्स लिए हैं आपके लिए हेंस ले एक्स क्या है यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट हेंस यहाँ पे सेकेंड सेंटेंस में सब्जेक्ट बर्ड्स वट आर दे डूइंग हेंस आर डूइंग दी एक्शन ऑफ लेंग एग्स वट आर बर्ड्स डूइंग बर्ड्स आर डूइंग दी एक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग नेस प्रिटी ईजी राइट सो दीज बिकम एक्टिव वॉइस क्यों क्योंकि यहाँ पे जो सब्जेक्ट है वो एक्टिव है हाउ बिकॉज द सब्जेक्ट इज परफॉर्मिंग दीज एक्शन All right that's for the active voice Now passive voice the second category is the passive voice passive voice mein kya hota hai when the action expressed by the verb is received by the subject jo action hai jo verb hame batata hai action verb kya hota hai verb jo word hai which tells us the action so Whatever the action being action जो perform हो रहा है या express हुआ है verb की वजह से जो receive अगर subject कर रहा है तो क्या हो गया ये passive voice. So when is passive voice used? Passive voice is used when the doer of the action is not known and the focus of the sentence is on the action and not the subject. Okay, let's read it slowly. Passive voice is used. When the doer is not known and the focus किस पे है Focus is on the action. Focus हम यहाँ पे action पे कर रहे हैं not the subject. ठीक है क्योंकि subject जो है यहाँ पे receive करेगा action. Okay. Let's see here in the examples. Eggs are laid by hens. यहाँ पे हम focus किस पे कर रहे हैं Laying of eggs पे कि eggs are laid और by कौन hens. तो ये hens जो हमारा subject है What are they doing? They are receiving the action, which is exhaled. Okay. Similarly, nests are built. This is an action. Who is performing these act? This action, birds. So, what are the birds doing? They are performing the action. Sorry, sorry. They are receiving the action. Performing the action होता तो active voice हो जाता. So here, eggs are laid by hens. Passive voice. Nests are built by birds. Passive voice. Hens and birds जो हमारा subject है what are they doing? They are receiving the action. All right. That that is for the basic meaning of voice and active voice and passive voice. I hope you have understood. Okay, so now we have these rules. अब हमें active voice और passive voice ऐसे directly तो हो सकता है पूछे ना पूछे बट इंपॉर्टेंट इसमें क्या है एक्टिव टू पैसिव वॉइस रूल्स फॉर कन्वर्जन ऑफ सेंटेंस मतलब अगर हमें किसी सेंटेंस uh, को एक्टिव से पैसिव में या पैसिव से एक्टिव में चेंज करना है तो हम कैसे करेंगे उसके लिए हम सर्टन रूल्स फॉलो करेंगे ओके दीज आर प्रिटी सिंपल यू डोंट हैव टू बी स्केर्ड के रूल्स बता रहे हैं वी हैव टू मेमोराइज दम दर इज नो सच थिंग एक बस बेसिक आइडिया के लिए मैंने रूल फॉर्मेट में आपको दिया है ताकि आपको बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हो दर नथिंग टू बी स्केर्ड अबाउट ओके इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी इजी इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ पीस ऑफ केक लेट्स सी फर्स्ट रूल इज आइडेंटिफाई दी सब सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट को हमें आइडेंटिफाई करना है इन द एक्टिव सेंटेंस टू कन्वर्ट टू द पैसिव वॉइस पहले आइडेंटिफाई करना है मतलब हमें पता होना चाहिए कि सब्जेक्ट क्या है वर्ब क्या है ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है सब्जेक्ट यहाँ पे क्या है दी मेन आइडिया दी मेन फोकस ही ही ड्राइव्स कार वर्ब तो हमें पता है वर्ब क्या बताता है मीन वर्ब इज दर्ड दैट टेल्स अस अबाउट दी एक्शन सो क्या एक्शन हो रहा है यहाँ पे ड्राइविंग हो रही है ड्राइव्स सो वर्ब हो गया और कार किस पे एक्शन हो रहा है ऑब्जेक्ट पे ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है हमारा कार ओके प्रिटी इजी अपने सेंटेंस में हमको बस सब्जेक्ट और वर्ब और ऑब्जेक्ट आइडेंटिफाई करना है रूल वन हो गया स्टेप वन हमारी कंप्लीट ठीक है सेकेंड स्टेप रूल टू इंटरचेंज द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड सब्जेक्ट विद ईच अदर क्या होता है कि ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द एक्टिव सेंटेंस बिकम्स द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द पैसिव सेंटेंस 
कि एक सेंटेंस का जो जो पहले सेंटेंस में सब्जेक्ट था वो पैसिव वॉइस में जाके ना ऑब्जेक्ट बन जाता है और जो पहले सेंटेंस में ऑब्जेक्ट था वो सब्जेक्ट बन जाता है लेट मी टेल यू दिस वे वेट नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस ये एक्टिव सेंटेंस है और ये पैसिव सेंटेंस है तो यहां पे जो सब्जेक्ट है हमारा ठीक है यहां पे जो सब्जेक्ट है ये यहां पे जाके ऑब्जेक्ट बन जाता है और यहाँ पे जो हमारा ऑब्जेक्ट है एक्टिव सेंटेंस एक्टिव वॉइस में वो बन जाता है वहां पे जाके हमारा सब्जेक्ट और राइट लेट सी हाउ जैसे एक्टिव वॉइस में है शी निथ स्वेटर के यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट क्या है शी फोकस है एक्शन क्या हो रहा है वर्ब के हिसाब से निट और ऑब्जेक्ट किस पे एक्शन हो रहा है स्वेटर पे तो स्वेटर हो गया ऑब्जेक्ट ठीक है अब इसे हमें पैसिव वॉइस में चेंज करना है फर्स्ट स्टेप कर लिया हमने आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया सेकेंड स्टेप में द स्वेटर इज निटेड बाय हर तो यहां पे क्या हुआ स्वेटर आ गया स्वेटर जो है वो क्या बन गया वो बन गया हमारा सब्जेक्ट फिर निटेड वर्ब तो सेम रहेगा पर बाय हर हेयर बाय हर एज बिकम दी ऑब्जेक्ट तो यहां पे फोकस किस पे शिफ्ट हो गया फोकस शिफ्ट हो गया स्वेटर पे कि हम स्वेटर के बारे में बता रहे हैं एक्टिव वॉइस में हम बता रहे थे शी के बारे में कि वट इज शी डू वट इज शी निट शी निट स्वेटर बट यहां पे पैसिव वॉइस में हमारा फोकस आ गया स्वेटर पे कि स्वेटर इज निटेड बाय हूम द स्वेटर इज निटेड बाय हर तो यहाँ फोकस जिस पे आ गया वो बन गया हमारा सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट बन गया ऑब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट बन गया सब्जेक्ट और राइट दिस वॉज द सेकेंड रूल Okay, so in passive voice, sometimes the subject is not used. Why is it not used? Subject in passive voice can be omitted. मतलब उसे छोड़ सकते हैं if the sentence without it gives enough meaning. Okay, अगर sentence uh, enough है तो हमें जरूरी नहीं है कि हमें subject um, subject हमें include करना ही करना है. All right, this is another rule which you can keep in your mind. Let's move on. Okay, so here now we have the next category of rules. Here it says, okay, so here rule four says, change the base verb in active sentence into the past participle. This is a very, very, very important rule. You star mark this slide. Change the base verb in the active sentence into the past participle. मतलब थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ दी वर्ब इन पैसिव सेंटेंस एंड इट हैज टू बी प्रिसीडेड बाय बाय या विद या टू सो एनी ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स ये आएंगे एंड बेस वर्ब्स आर नेवर यूज इन पैसिव वॉइस सेंटेंसेस इसमें हम क्या कह रहे हैं इसमें क्या होगा जो बेस वर्ब है ना एक्टिव सेंटेंस में वो चेंज हो जाएगा इन द पास्ट पार्टिसिपल विच इज दर्ड फॉर्म वर्ब इन दैसिव सेंटेंस ठीक है पास्ट पार्टिसिपल में चेंज हो जाएगा और एक वर्ड और ऐड हो जाएगा इसमें से बाय विद टू इनमें से कोई भी एज पर दी सिचुएशन ये हमें समझ आ जाएगा अभी देखते हैं एक्टिव वॉइस में अगर हम कह रहे हैं शी प्रिपेयर डिनर सो इसको हमने पैसिव वॉइस में चेंज करने के लिए हमने कर तो दिया इसका सब्जेक्ट को ऑब्जेक्ट बना दिया ऑब्जेक्ट को सब्जेक्ट बना दिया पर जो वर्ब है ना प्रिपेयर ये भी हो जाएगा पास्ट पार्टिसिपल क्या हुआ इसका पास्ट पार्टिसिपल द डिनर इज प्रिपेयर बाय हर के नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल हेयर इट सेज शी नो हिम ओके आई एम सॉरी इट शुड बी शी नोज हिम ओके पैसिव वॉइस में चेंज हो जाएगा ही इज नोन टू हर यहां पे क्या आ गया टू आ गया और जो वर्ब है वो पास्ट पार्टिसिपल हो गया नोज का नोन और राइट सिमिलरली एक्टिव जूस फिल्स द जार सो इसका पैसिव वॉइस में द जार इज फिल्ड विद जूस जूस से जार भर गया सो द जार इज फिल्ड विद जूस और राइट सो यह सब्जेक्ट ऑफ वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट तीन चीजें हैं एक्टिव पैसिव में चेंज करने के लिए पहले तो हम सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट आइडेंटिफाई हो गया फिर यहां पे क्या है 
पास्ट पार्टिसिपल जो चेंज हो रहा है मतलब जो वर्ब चेंज हो रहा है इनटू द पास्ट पार्टिसिपल ओके द बेस वर्ब जो भी एक्टिव से पैसिव में हम जब चेंज कर रहे हैं ऑल राइट ओके नाउ अनदर वन Here, while conversion of active voice sentence to passive voice sentence, the pronoun used in the sentence also changes in the following manner. जो pronouns है pronouns भी change होंगे because uh, uh, as per the situation मतलब हम जब examples देखेंगे जब questions करेंगे तो आपको ये ज़्यादा clearly समझ आएगा but आपको बस एक ये चीज़ देखनी है कि active pronoun changes into the passive pronoun. अब actually ये करना हम ये भी कर रहे हैं उसके बाद we will do questions also. तो क्वेश्चंस के बाद आपको मुझे क्लैरिटी मिल गई मिल जाएगी आफ्टर दैट यू रीड दीज रूल्स अगेन तो आपको ना और अच्छे से समझ आएंगे ओके सो आई चेंजेस टू मी वी चेंजेस टू अस ही चेंजेस टू हिम शी चेंजेस टू हर दे चेंज टू देम यू चेंजेस टू यू यू स्टेज यू इट इट स्टेज इट और राइट Okay, so another rule: use the suitable helping or auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verbs क्या होते हैं? The helping verbs. So use a suitable verb. Uh, the rules for using auxiliary verbs in passive voice sentences are different for each tense. जैसे the letter is written by her. यहाँ भी using is. Auxiliary verb क्या है? Is. A book was not bought by her. तो was auxiliary verb है यहाँ पे. Chocolates are being eaten by them. अब इसके active voice, active sentence suppose ये था. Letter is written by her. तो she writes a letter. She writes the letter. She is writing the letter. Okay. तो उसका she is writing the letter नहीं होगा. यहाँ पे continuous नहीं है. She writes the letter. तो इसका हो गया. The letter is written by her. So is, was, are being. All these are auxiliary helping verbs. Which are being added as per the demand of the sentence. All right. All right. So here, what do we have? We have forms of the active and passive voice for all tenses. कि tenses में कैसे-कैसे conversion होता है? आपको और clarity मिलेगी यहाँ पे हम examples ले रहे हैं. Okay. Like here, we are starting with the simple present tense. Simple present tense, active sentences and passive में कैसे लिखेंगे? हमने कैसे पढ़ा था? Past participle में convert होगा। तो यहाँ पे notes पढ़ लेते हैं कि except certain exemptions, कोई भी pass no passive voice formation for the following tenses can be formed. Present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense, future perfect continuous tense, or future continuous tense. तो इनके लिए पैसिव वॉइस फॉर्मेशन नहीं हो सकती एक्सेप्ट फॉर सर्टेन एग्जाम्पन्स कोई ना कोई एग्जाम्पन मिल ही जाएंगे ऑल राइट बट हियर लेट्स फोकस ऑन सिंपल प्रेजेंट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस एक्टिव सेंटेंस एंड पैसिव सेंटेंस ठीक है हियर एग्जाम्पल ही राइट्स एन एस एंड पैसिव उसको कैसे सब्जेक्ट वर्ब या सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एंड ऑब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट को ऑब्जेक्ट बनाया ऑब्जेक्ट को सब्जेक्ट बनाया एंड एसे इज रिटर्न बाय हिम यहाँ पे देखो क्या आ गया ऑक्सलरी वर्ब भी आ गया हमारा जो ये हेल्पिंग प्रेपोजिशन आनी थी वो भी आ गई ठीक है वर्ब जो है पास पार्टिसिपल में चेंज भी हो गया ही राइट्स एन एस एन एस एज रिटर्न बाय हिम राइट एन शीना डज दी हाउस वर्क The housework is done by Sheena. She cares. Uh, she cares for the rabbit. Now the rabbit is being cared for by her. Jacob always plays the guitar. The guitar is always played by Jacob. Subject ko humne object banaya. Object ko humne subject banaya. Auxiliary verb add hua. Then with this helping preposition like by, with whom, which is added. And past participle. All right, this is pretty easy. आपको देखने में लग रहा होगा काफी सारे rules हैं. But एक बार you get the hang of it ना practice करोगे तो आपको ये सोचने की भी जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी कि अच्छा ठीक है subject को object बनाया नहीं बनाया. फिर past participle वो आपको naturally आने लग जाएगा. All you need is practice. After all, practice makes a man perfect.
all right so now the next one is present continuous tense present continuous tense let's see examples are like here they are eating bananas the bananas are being eaten by them and bob is drawing a diagram the diagram is being drawn by bob samta is playing the piano the piano is being played by samta she is waiting for reema present continuous hai na is waiting change ho gaya kisme reema ban gayi jo hamara object tha reema became the subject and she she ab dekh lo she jo pronoun hai it is also being changed into her similarly first example mein bhi they jo hai it became what them maine bola tha na hum examples padhenge to aap dekhoge apne aap kaise change ho raha hai three pronouns bhi change ho rahe hain all right so reema is being waited by her kya kya ho raha hai subject object mein badal gaya object subject mein badal gaya verb ka past participle ho gaya auxiliary verb bhi aa gaya pronoun bhi change ho gaya all right now are you remembering all those rules that were being taught right now okay now we move on to the simple past tense heron you see uh, riya paid the bills the bills were paid by riya simple past hai past participle ho gaya the teacher called the student the student was called by the teacher she did not buy the fruits the fruits were not the fruits were not bought by her so you see subject verb subject verb and object ki agreement samjhi सब्जेक्ट को ऑब्जेक्ट में बदला ऑब्जेक्ट को सब्जेक्ट में बदला वर्ब जो है हमने उसका पास्ट पार्टिसिपल में कर दिया ठीक है फिर हमने ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब भी ऐड कर दिया जहां जहां चाहिए था फिर हमारा ये वर्ड्स लाइक बाय विद टू जो एज पर सिचुएशन वो भी ऐड कर दिया ऑल राइट ओके सो हिया we have past continuous tense let's see how it is being changed they are waiting for him he is being waited by he was being waited by them right asta was learning french french was being learned by asta and she was playing kabaddi the kabaddi was being played by her she got converted to her Okay. So, you know, relate these with the rules जो हमने पढ़े हैं subject verb, subject and object, the pronouns, the auxiliary auxiliary verbs. That's how you will learn and you won't really have to memorize them. आपको ऐसे याद ही रखना पड़ेगा This all this will come start coming naturally to you once you start practicing. All right. So the next one is past perfect tense. Now past perfect tense. Let's see how this one changes. Examples. Two examples. She won the match. This one. It's converted to the match had been won by her. I had finished her work. Then her work had been finished by me. You see, I was changed to me. right he had missed the last metro the last metro had been missed by him okay this is past perfect tense i hope you are uh, relating these with the rules subject and object object and subject or auxiliary verbs the pronouns right as you have rules up yahan dekhoge sare rules follow ho rahe hain okay Okay so here this one says this one is simple future tense simple future tense how will it change change into the past participle let's see he will write a letter a letter will be written by him okay he will repair her cycle her cycle will be repaired by him he shall start the meeting the meeting will be will be started 
by him. All right. So this is for the simple future. Okay, now we have future perfect tense. See, we now will not have to change the bed sheet. The bed sheet will not have been changed by Veena. They will have won the match. Okay, they will have won the match. The match will have been won by them. Rina will have washed the skirt. Rina, sorry, the skirt will have been washed by Rina. All right. All right. So with this. we finish off with the with the active and passive voice i hope you have understood the rules and the various changes that we sought okay now we will be moving on towards the quiz jisme aapko aur clarity hogi okay let's uh, start all right so for the quiz what we will be doing is now every question you will be given 1 minute 1 minute means 60 seconds why am i giving you 1 minute because you see your question paper of ieo it has about uh, 50 questions and so you can uh, imagine that you know you get more or less a minute to answer the questions now this 1 minute is the maximum that you should be taking for answering the question now suppose there could be two three two three categories of students first category is suppose you answer the question within that 1 minute so i would request you to fast forward the video and uh skip right to the answer you should not be wasting your time all right now the other students who are not able to answer the question in 1 minute what you do you don't skip to the answer you pause the video and you write down your answer all right it is very important to answer each and every question because there is no negative marking here you see for every incorrect answer no points because there is no negative marking in ieo so it is important that you attempt all the questions now for a question of which you are not sure about the answer now even here and even in the exam if you are not sure about the answer and you may be think that b option is might be correct or c option might be correct so you should uh, in that case play your luck and play your mind and make a guess and still give an answer because it is a win win situation either you will get the marks for that question or you will get a zero right but if you don't attempt that question at all then you are anyway getting a zero in that right so it is good to attempt those questions and uh, even if you don't know all the answers try to understand and take a guess okay so this is for every correct answer 10 points this is just for your uh, for your own little game where you can try uh, to maintain a notepad so here you write the name of the chapter and then the question and then if it is correct you can give yourself 10 points if it is not correct you mark it here so it is important to mark to see these questions the ones which you mark incorrect it is important to go back to them later and then see where you did the mistake all right this is just for your reference for every correct answer you can give yourself 10 points all right now let's uh, start
all right so what do we have to do here in this category of questions we have to choose the correct for as if form from the given options let's see the question an apple dash by him daily in order to keep the doctor away all right so here the options are is eaten b should eaten c is ate or d is eat here the correct answer is a is eaten here we have this auxiliary verb and we have eaten which is the past participle in other one other options you see we should eaten should eaten now this is not the correct uh, auxiliary verb is ate incorrect past participle and d yahan pe past participle yahan pe bhi past participle nahi hai Okay, so this question says, sugar and tea dash by the grocer. A is sold, B are sold, C is sell, D are sell. Now here, the correct answer is B are sold. Sugar and tea are sold by the grocer. Here, are because sugar and tea that's plural, and sold is the past participle. All right. in the other options like a is now is is uh, used for singular whereas sugar and tea that is plural all right in c there is no past participle and is also which is incorrect and d no past participle so it is also incorrect plants dash by the gardener every evening a are watering b is watering c are watered or d is watered now here the correct answer is c plants are watered plants is plants are plural so are and watered is the past participle now for the other options a you see watering this is the continuous form of the past participle here is and watering is also incorrect in d is plants is plural all right so the correct answer is c plants are watered by the gardener every evening
next question says tennis dash by the players of our school at this time a are being played b is being played c is played and d are played here the correct answer is tennis is being played by the players of our school at this time now here you see we are talking about at this time so continuous ki baat ho rahi hai so is being played hoga all right continuous hai then the other a here are use ho raha hai but tennis is singular then c we have played the past participle is incorrect and d are played now both these words are incorrect all right the letter dash by rumi yet has not written b have not written c has not been right d has not been written the correct answer here is d has not been written the letter has not been written by rumi yet all right um you see has not been written by rumi yahan pe has not been is the correct past participle a uh, the past participle is incorrect b yahan pe have use hua hai which is uh, not used in the case of a singular third person which is letter right c has not been right now this is also incorrect right all right a sweet song dash by mohit in the concert a is singing b is being sung d are sung sorry c are sung and d is being singing here the correct answer is b is being sung now here प्रेजेंट की ही बात हो रही है राइट इज बींग संग एंड संग इज द पास्ट पार्टिसिपल हेयर ऑल राइट नाउ फॉर द अदर ऑप्शन ए इज सिंगिंग हेयर सिंगिंग दिस इज नॉट द पास्ट पार्टिसिपल टू बी यूज इन वॉइस इन पैसिव वॉइस सी आर संग बोध दर्ड आर इन करेक्ट डी इज बींग सिंगिंग नाउ दिस इज सच is so terribly wrong all right is being singing singing is not a past participle all right now 
next sentence. Here, a cardigan dashed by the old lady at that time. A was knitted. B has knitted. C was being knitted. D was knit. All right, here the correct answer is was being knitted. Here, this is at that time. Matlab, us time something was happening. All right, so this one uh, gets, convert, gets into, you know, past, so was. And we have was being we continuous, tha, and knitted is the past participle. All right, so the correct answer is C was being knitted. For the other options, A was knitted. This is incorrect because it was, uh, it is, we're talking about continuous, something that was happening continuously by the old lady at that time. All right. Then B has knitted. Um, this is incorrect. Again, because has the incorrect auxiliary. D was knit. This is also incorrect. Incorrect. Um, incorrect. Fast participle. All right. English dash all over the world. A spoke, B is spoken, C speaks, D is spoke. The correct answer is B, English is spoken all over the world. All right, is spoken. We have the auxiliary verb here and spoken the past participle. Now in A, uh, A, C and D. In fact, in all of them, what is the situation? The past participle is incorrect. So, all these options are incorrect. All right.
Now the next question says a prayer dashed by the choir in church next week. A was sung, B will sung, C will be sung, or D shall be sung. Now here the correct answer is C will be sung. Okay. Here to the other ones like here was sung. Incorrect past participle. B will sung. Uh, both these are incorrect. D shall be sung. Incorrect auxiliary verb. Okay. Many accidents at home dash by slippery floors. A are caused, B is caused, C is caused, D are caused. Here the correct answer is many accidents at home. A are caused by slippery floors. Alright. Now here R is used because many accidents we talk about plural caused. Because it is the past participle. In the other options, B is is incorrect because accidents is plural and is is used for singular. C is is also incorrect as I just told you, and cause is not the past participle. D now here cause is not the past participle to be used here. All right. Adam and Moshe Curie dashed the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1903. Are given, gave, C were given or D was given. This is pretty easy. C were given. Madame and Moshe Curie the, were given the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1903. A are given not is, is not used. Why? Because R talks about present. Where here we are talking about in 1903 something happened. So it is past. So we will be using were. B gave is the incorrect past participle. D was given. Here was is incorrect. Was is used for singular. Where here we are talking about Madame and Monsieur Curie. So we have to use plural. Alright.
when dash america discovered when was america discovered when did america discover c when is america discover d when were america discovered now here this one seems pretty easy as well the correct answer is a when was america discovered all right here past participle and was we talking about the past all right other options did incorrect auxiliary verb c incorrect auxiliary verb as well as incorrect past participle d were is used now america america is singular talking about one country all right so the answer is a when was america discovered all right a new sports center dash in my town r being built b being built c is built d is being built here the correct answer is d is being built all right here built the past participle all right and is being the auxiliary verb other options a are being built are is incorrect because a new sports center this is singular and are is used for plural b being built there is no auxiliary verb here so it is incorrect c is built here is is correct but built built is not the correct past participle all right thousands of kite dash at the international kite festival a being exhibited b are being exhibited c exhibited d will exhibit here the correct answer is b are being exhibited thousands of kites are being exhibited at the international kite festival okay now for the other options uh first let me explain this one are being now are is for plural because kites are plural being are being this is for continuously abhi ho hi raha tha so we they are being exhibited all right exhibited the past participle okay the other options a here we don't have uh, an auxiliary verb c again don't have auxiliary verb d here the auxiliary verb as well as the tense and the past participle all of them are incorrect
there was a fire at the hotel last week two of the rooms a were damaged b are being damaged c are damaged d were being damaged now here the correct answer is were damaged all right were because we're talking about the past tense see there was a fire at the hotel last week past ki baat ho rahi hai so were past tense and damaged the past participle all right b are being damaged now are being a continuous abhi ki baat ho rahi hai which is incorrect c r this is also incorrect abhi ki baat kar rahe hain d were being damaged now past continuously nahi hai ye so here the auxiliary verb is incorrect all right any american programs dash on indian television a are seen b are show c were seen d were showed now here the correct answer is many american programs were here yeah, they was seen on indian television all right now were because plural and past tense seen is the past participle a are seeing past participle is incorrect auxiliary verb is also incorrect b again show the past participle incorrect verb is auxiliary verb is also incorrect d the aux the past participle is incorrect all right The washing machine was broken but it's working now. It dashed yesterday afternoon. A it was repaired yesterday afternoon. It is repaired yesterday afternoon. C it is being repaired. D it is repairing. Now here the correct answer is A was. Ye to bahut hi easy hai matlab I think first glance mein aapko pata chal jayega why. Let me give you a trick here. Now it dashed yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon मतलब कल की बात हो रही है पुरानी सो द आंसर इज वॉज अभी तो हो रही है ना बाकी सब में इज है मतलब अभी की बात कर रहे हैं हेयर इज वॉज सो वॉज रिपेयर दिस वन इज प्रिटी इजी ज्यादा ऑप्शन देखने की भी जरूरत नहीं है बट मैं तब भी एक्सप्लेन कर देती हूँ वॉज बिकॉज पास्ट की बात है एंड रिपेयर बिकॉज पास्ट पार्टिसिपल है रिपेयर and other ones is me is hai present ki baat ho rahi hai incorrect c is being again present ki baat ho rahi hai incorrect d isme to present ki bhi baat ho rahi hai and repairing past participle is also incorrect all right
How old are these houses? When dash built? A. When are they built? B. When were they built? C. When are them built? D. When were them built? Okay. Here the correct answer is B. When were they built? Why? Were because we're talking about the past and they because we're talking about these houses. Alright. Other options like A. Are they? Uh, present ki baat ho rahi hai incorrect. C mein them. The na pronoun is incorrect. And in D also the pronoun is incorrect. Alright. And in C are we used which is talking about present which is also incorrect. never seen these flowers before what dash okay so the correct okay let's see the options first a what is it called b what are they called c what were called d what are it called the correct answer is what are they called okay abhi ki baat hui ki maine i have never seen these before maine kabhi pehle nahi dekhe hain so we're talking in present, right? And the correct answer here is what are they called? Are and they refers to flowers called is the past participle. Other question, other options like a what is it called? Is is incorrect because it talks about singular. It incorrect pronoun. Okay. Option C were talks about past. D what are it now here? The pronoun is incorrect. All right. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Next category of questions. Choose the most appropriate passive form for the given sentences from the options. Like, let's see. The question says, who taught her French? This is a question. Okay, this is a sentence. Hai, that is itself a question. We have to recognize it, right? Ki, Statement hai, ki command hai, ki question. This is a question. Let's see. Now the options are A. By whom was she taught French? C. Sorry, B. Who is that who teach her French? A D. C. Who is teaching her French? A D. Whom has taught French to her? So here the correct answer is A. By whom was she taught French? Alright. Yaan pe jo subject hai, wo object ho gaya and jo object hai, wo subject ho gaya. 
all right these are the other ones like who is that who teach her french is me um, tense incorrect even here the tense incorrect d whom has taught french to her this is also an incorrect tense all right Now the next question says in winter people burn a lot of oil the options are a oil is burn in winter by people b people burn oil in winters a lot c oil is being burned in winter by people or d a lot of oil is burned by people in winter now here here the correct answer is just a minute yes d a lot of oil is burned by people in winter let's see how now here we talking about in winter people burn so people is the subject and yahan pe subject tha in this sentence mein object ban gaya then burn a lot of oil a lot of oil this was the object now this has become the subject and accordingly we have we have changed the tense also humne past participle laga diya hai and auxiliary verb aa gaya and by aa gaya and in winter the same hi raha all right Okay so here a very old friend helped me the options are i was helped by a very old friend b my friend helped me c my old friend helped me or d my friend who was old helped me all right so idhar let's uh, try you know first doing it ourselves ko answer nahi batati hu directly let's see a very old friend helped me तो यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट क्या है वेरी ओल्ड फ्रेंड वर्ब क्या है हेल्प्ड एंड ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है मी ओके तो हम सब्जेक्ट को ऑब्जेक्ट बनाते हैं ऑब्जेक्ट को सब्जेक्ट तो मी जो है दैट विल बिकम दी सब्जेक्ट सो आई और फिर ये जो हेल्प्ड है इसका पास्ट पार्टिसिपल लगेगा एंड ऑगजरी वर्ब लगेगा एंड बाय लगेगा सो आई वॉज हेल्प्ड ऑल राइट बाय हु बाय अ वेरी ओल्ड फ्रेंड All right. So the incorrect answer. So the correct answer is A. I was helped by a very old friend. All right.
Okay, so the next question says, I will buy the tickets in advance. So here, um, let's do it the similar manner again. I will buy the tickets in advance. Here, what is the subject? I. The verb is will buy. Object is the tickets. Okay. So here the subject will become the object and the object will become the subject. So the tickets, the object becomes the subject. We will say the tickets. Okay. And then will buy. So this uh, will, uh, we will form a past participle. We will say the tickets will be bought. And then what do we insert? Buy. Buy whom this I. I ko hum kaise convert kar dete hain? Me mein. So the tickets will be bought by me in advance. You do adverb by the same here. So the correct answer here is here. C. The tickets will be bought by me in advance. All right. Okay, so this question says, the porter was carrying the luggage. Okay, again, let's start changing. Um, porter is the subject. Was carrying is the verb. The luggage is the object. Passive voice may change karna hai. Subject ko object banayenge, object ko subject. Let's start with the luggage. So, the luggage, then the verb. Verb ka past participle may convert hoga, auxiliary verb lagega and buy lagega. Okay. So the luggage was being carried. Carried is the uh, past participle and carrying yuki ye continuous hai, past continuous, so ho jayega was being carried. And by whom? By jo yahan pe subject hai ban jayega object. By the potter. Alright. Correct answer is D. The courage was the luggage was being carried by the potter. All right. Okay. Why was the police checking all the cars? Let's see here. Why was the police checking all the cars? What was happening? The police subject verb kya action kya the checking what the object was all the cars. Okay. So here pe kya change hoga? Subject object banega object subject. So why were ki tense bhi hum past mein jayega? So why were all the cars? ये जो हमारा object है ये बन गया subject. Why were all the cars? ये जो checking है continuous tense. This gets converted to past participle. So why were all the cars being checked? By who? By the police. All right. ये हमारा बन गया object. 
So the correct answer is A. Okay. right so the next category of questions what we have to do here read the following instructions for making coffee fill in the blanks with the correct passive voice from the given options so here paragraph by paragraph mein as per the blank jo questions hain uske hisab se hame passive voice ke fill in karne hain all right let's see first of all a cup of milk is poured in a pan and the pan dash Okay, so pan is kept on fire. Was kept on fire. Was to be kept on fire. Keeps on fire. Yeah, the correct answer is A. Is kept on fire. कि यहाँ पे हम present की बात कर रहे हैं. आपने देखा sentence कैसे शुरू हो रहा है? A cup of milk is poured in a pan. Is poured. Right. So present की बात हो रही है. The pan is kept on fire. Is A because present की बात हो रही है kept because it is the past participle. All right. Now the other ones इसमें tense ही गलत है. All right. And D में past participle गलत है. All right. Okay, next sentence. One teaspoon coffee powder dashed with the required quantity of sugar was put in a cup, is put in a cup, is to put in a cup, will put in a cup. Now here the answer is one teaspoon coffee powder is put in a cup. Is put in a cup. Again, because present ki baat ho rahi hai, put jo hai past put. प्रेजेंट में पास में फ्यूचर में पुट ही रहता है सो इज पुट इन अ कप ऑल राइट द अदर वन सब में टेंस गलत है ऑल राइट
next one says dash into sorry when milk starts boiling dash into the cup it is being uh, sieved in the cup it is being sieved in the cup b it was to be sieved in the cup c it is sieved into the cup or d it to be sieved into the cup so here again present ki baat ho rahi hai आंसर इज सी इट इज सीव्ड इन टू द कप प्रेजेंट की बात है एंड पास्ट पार्टिसिपेट ए बींग सीव इन करेक्ट पास्ट पार्टिसिपेट बी इन करेक्ट टेंस एंड डी इट इट टू बी नाउ दिस डजेंट मेक सेंस सेंस एट ऑल ऑल राइट this one says the coffee and sugar dash a are mixed b will mix c was mixed d will be mixed this one should be easy for you by now coffee and sugar are mixed q present ki baat ho rahi hai and past participle all right now the other options sab mein kya hai hamara tense alag hai so these are incorrect All right, and B me past participle bhi galat hai. last blank for this paragraph the coffee and sugar dash and dash very hot it was served very hot will be served very hot it should be served very hot or it be served very hot now here a sara present ka tha but here it is it should be here it should be rather it should be served okay मतलब हमें से ऐसे सर्व करना चाहिए इट शुड बी सर्व वेरी हॉट राइट दैट्स इट फॉर दिस पैराग्राफ लेट्स मूव ऑन
Okay, so here choose the correct option to complete the sentence. The thieves dash arrested by police, was arrested, had arrested, have been arrested, or D have arrested. Here the correct answer is C. Have been arrested. Alright, now for the other ones was, had, have, we have third person and uh, okay, was and had, A and B, we don't use this with third person, plural and D is incorrect because we have to here, the auxiliary verb has to be have been, okay. The next question says, the sports kit dashed by the coach last night is being carried, B carried, C was being carried, D been carried. So the correct answer is, C was being carried. Here we are talking about last night, Matla past ki baat ho rahi hai, to was aega, was being and the past participle carried. For the other ones, just say is, sorry, A, is hai, which is present tense, incorrect, B, yahan pe auxiliary verb nahi hai, and D, been carrying, ye incomplete hai. Alright. Okay, here, our village house dashed in 1980 by my grandfather. A built, B has built, C was built or D was built. Correct answer is C was built. Why? Ek toh hum past ki baat kar rahe hai. Okay, so was aega and built is the past participle. Other options A, yahan pe auxiliary verb nahi hai. B, यहाँ पे was आएगा not has has तो possession के लिए use होता है D was built past participle गलत है alright
Okay, so here we have to choose the correct option. Rita has been doing this work since morning. All right, here the options are A, that work has been done by Rita since morning. B, this work has been doing by Rita since morning. C, this work has been being done by Rita since morning. Or D, no passive voice. Now here, the answer is actually D. There is no passive voice for this sentence because remember, we have a note mein padha tha, ki except a few exceptions has been uh, doing. Here, these kind of uh, tenses, they don't have any passive voice. So this is past perfect continuous and this has no passive voice. All right. Alright, so now we move towards the last question of this chapter. This one is, Sumit will not have received the letter. The, okay, let's do it this way. Here we have subject, Sumit will not have received. This is the verb and D and then this is the object. So here, how will we change it? Subject into object and object into subject. So we will start with the letter and change this into past participle. The letter will not have been received and then include by, by whom? By the object which is now Sumit. The letter will not have been received by Sumit. The correct answer is A. Alright, with this we come to an end for the questions of voices. I hope you have understood the concept and all the questions that we have discussed. That's all for our class on voices. I hope you have understood the various kinds which is active voice and passive voice, the rules of for formation of passive voice, how to convert one into another, which sort of words to use, how to move the subject to the object to the and the object to the subject. These kinds of rules are very important so that you don't make a mistake in any conversions in any questions. Keep revising and I will see you the next time. Thank you for watching.